Top of the Rock is a three-level indoor and outdoor observation deck with 360 degree views of New York City. And today we're going to show you why one of the least crowded decks in the city can't be missed. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. Located at 30 Rockefeller Plaza in Midtown Manhattan and in the same building as NBC Studios and the Rainbow Room, Top of the Rock is one of the five major observation decks in New York City. While the building has been around since 1933, the three decks of Top of the Rock didn't open until 2005. After getting your tickets in person or online and then heading through security, you'll head through some exhibits. You'll then get on an elevator ride that takes only 42 seconds to ascend to the 67th floor. Once there, you'll immediately get a view to the south of the iconic Empire State Building, One World Trade Center, and many other famous buildings. You can remain inside if you like, or go outside onto the first deck, where you'll get the same views as inside, but also a much better look at Central Park. When you're done, head back inside and take the escalator to the 69th floor. This outdoor deck is much more spacious and you can walk around more of the perimeter for views. The deck walls feature the obvious images people think of when they think of New York. Pizza, bagels, and taxis. Sounds about right? If you haven't noticed already, Top of the Rock isn't crowded and that is definitely part of the charm. Many New York City tourist attractions, and other observation decks for that matter, can be very busy with long wait times and intense crowding that make it hard to get that coveted skyline selfie. To get to the final and best viewing deck, the 70th floor, you'll ascend a short set of stairs. This is where you'll get the true 360 degree panoramic views of the city, and there are no walls either. Here you can also see the other four observation decks, starting with Summit 1, Empire State Building, One World Observatory, and The Edge. You can even see the super tiny Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor in the distance. On this side, you can check out the Hudson River and New Jersey beyond. If you're looking for views of Central Park, Top of the Rock is the best of the five observation decks to see it. To the east, you can see the Chrysler and MetLife buildings and Queens. Another great thing about Top of the Rock is that it's within another top tourist destination, Rockefeller Center. Just be warned that Rockefeller Center is absolutely nuts during the winter holidays. Have you been to Top of the Rock or any of the other New York City observation decks? What did you think of them? For more epic skyline views, check out our other New York City observation deck videos, and we'll see you on the trails or in the water.